Francis, Frank, J. Grandin was an American silent film actor and director who acted in almost 100 films and directed over 100. Frank Grandin's obituary, printed in newspapers from coast to coast, called him the father of movie serial motion pictures and a mentor to many young film stars. Early career. Little here is know about the early life of Francis Grandin other than he was listed as a member of Jesse May Hall's company during an 1895 engagement at the Opera House in Portsmouth, Ohio and that he first arrived in Los Angeles in 1902, most likely as a member of a traveling repertory troupe. The Moving Picture World, transcribed from The Moving Picture World, January 22, 1916 Director F. J. Grandin goes to Metro Francis J. Grandin, one of the foremost directors in the country and a veteran in this branch of motion picture production, is the latest addition to the large staff of Metro producers. Mr. Grandin has just completed, in record time, his first Metro Wonder play, The Lure of Heart's Desire, in which Edmund Breeze, the eminent dramatic actor, is starred. It was produced for Metro by the popular plays and players. Mr. Grandin's next feature will be, The Soul Market, by Aaron Hoffman, in which M.M.E. Petrova will be seen in the stellar role. Before joining Metro Mr. Grandin was a director with the Triangle Company. He began his career with D. W. Griffith at the Old Biograph Company and was associated with Mr. Griffith for several years. Mr. Grandin then received an attractive offer from Lubin and went with that company as their first director. Later Mr. Grandin joined the Seligs forces and while with that concern directed and produced the first serial released in connection with syndicated newspaper stories. This was The Adventures of Kathleen, with Kathleen Williams, the star, Virtus Scott, until recently on the directing staff of The Famous Players, is another addition to the Metro and the popular plays and players being Mr. Grandin's assistant Mr. Scott's last work with the famous players was with Mary Pickford in The Foundling, and Pauline Frederick in Belladonna, before that Mr. Scott was with The Equitable, and assisted in the direction of Sealed Lips, in which Mr. Scott achieved individual distinction for his masterly handling for a big church interior scene, photographed in a well-known Brooklyn edifice. Through a factory accident, which delayed the release of The Rose of the Alley, with Mary Miles Minter, Mr. Grandin and Mr. Scott were obliged to hurry through their first Metro release, The Lure of Heart's Desire, but they met the emergency in good shape with a finished and artistic feature, Marriage, Helen S. Grandin, his wife, was a native of Indiana and 18 years his junior when she married him around 1920 at the age of 22. Death Francis J. Grandin died on July 11, 1929 in Los Angeles after a suffering a series of strokes over several years. In 1925 Grandin had disappeared for a number of weeks before film director Webster Cullison traced him to a Portland, Oregon hospital ward recovering from his initial stroke. At the time of his death Grandin had no immediate family other than his young wife who was not mentioned in his obituary. Francis J. Grandin's funeral services were held on Saturday, July 13, at the Leroy Bagley Mortuary on Hollywood Boulevard. Selected Filmography The Adventures of Kathleen Playing with Fire The Soul Market The Lure of Heart's Desire Rosemary That's for Remembrance The Livid Flame To be called for A Beast at Bay Mrs. Matthews Dressmaker the Blind Princess and the Poet, The Last Drop of Water, The Indian Brothers, Enoch Arden, The Lone Dale Operator, Was He a Coward, The Lily of the Tenements, What Shall We Do With Our Old, His Trust, Ramona, The House With Closed Shutters, What the Daisy Said, In the Border States, 